friends, welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease and today we're on an adventure. We have come to the Old Spaghetti Factory in Duarte, California. If you guys aren't familiar where Duarte is, it's about 18 miles from Los Angeles. So we have come here today to have lunch with my friends. You all know Janice. She is the friend that comes to Disneyland with us, so you all have seen her before. But we are here because there is a legend that this restaurant is haunted. So we're having a friend's lunch today. We're off of work, but we also want to check out the haunted restaurant. And I wanted to bring you all along to see what your thoughts are on it. And maybe you could check it out when you're here. The old spaghetti factory in Duarte is an old school building. It was built in 1909 and housed children from grades first through 11 and there was five rooms in the schoolhouse. So they have transformed the schoolhouse into this restaurant and I'm gonna show you all around. And actually, Janice has a cool story about an experience in the bathroom here. And maybe we can get her to share it later so you all can hear it too. Ordered a it's senior. Sure. It's a free course menu. So I, I'm sorry, guys. I ate my bread, but salad. Awesome. What did you order? Uh, fettuccine with chili. It looks delicious. This is my friend Shirley, everybody. Okay. Hey, hi, Shirley. Hi. Janice, what did you order? Hey, so if you come to this restaurant, they are known for their mazithra spaghetti. Okay. It's a very kind of salty, pungent cheese. So I got half and half with the, the marinara. Looks good. That's what they're known for. Okay. And then their pesto dressing is excellent on the salad. Oh, oh look Shirley got a cream soda. It says I. And it comes it. in a souvenir cup, and you get to take the cup home. Yeah. How exciting! <laughs> okay. This room with all the flags and the trolley car it used to be the auditorium to the schoolhouse. The original Duarte schoolhouse was an old shack built in 1875 but the original shack burned down in 1908. So this building is actually the rebuild that happened in 1909. The pictures on the wall are actually of the old schoolhouse and you will see pictures of the former students. For me, the staircase was the part of the building that I actually got the most creeps from, if you wanna say. The story goes that a young girl was tying her shoes at the top of the staircase when one student chasing another student bumped into her, causing her to fall down the stairs and ultimately to her demise. The principal's office is also considered to be a very active area in the building. It is said that one of the principals hung himself after his wife found out he was having an affair with his secretary. I've been coming here for many, many years. My friend Janet and I, this is our go-to place. We enjoy eating here. And maybe over 10 years ago, we were here and we went down to the restrooms downstairs and it was crazy cold there. It's always cold there. And I remember we saw two children, very young children who were unattended. And my friend was kind of concerned, what are these kids doing here attended? So anyways, we thought nothing of it. Fast forward to maybe a couple of years ago, so it's maybe over 10 years later, I was Googling Old Spaghetti Factory Duarte because I wanted to see a menu. And I came up with all these hits uh, old Spaghetti Factory Duarte Haunted. And it turns out that this location used to be a schoolhouse. There was a fire here. There are a few deaths here. And in any event, the, the ghosts that people have seen here happen to be children and the sightings are in the restrooms. And so my mind was blown when I found out that, when I saw these posts on, on Facebook or on Google or whatever. So then, just to verify what I saw is what I saw, I contacted my friend Janet, and she confirmed, yeah, I remember seeing those children in the restroom, and she said they were dressed kind of funny. And so that double blew my mind because, you know, they're probably dressed old-fashioned. So that's the story. I like to think that I really saw something 
but I think what it boils down to is if you are actually looking for ghosts, you're not going to see them. It's like, I think ghosts are people that appear who really don't belong. That's what I think it is. But I do believe in ghosts. Very cool. Thank you, Janice, for sharing. Feature Elaine here from the editing room floor, which is also known as the living room. I had so much fun with my friends at lunch that I forgot to film an outro for this video. First, I wanted to thank my friends for allowing me the opportunity to share our lunch with you all. I know haunted places and ghost things are not everybody's cup of tea. So if this isn't really your thing, uh, thanks for watching the whole video. <laughs> but uh, I'm curious to know if any of you have been to Old Spaghetti Factory in Duarte, if you have been anywhere and had an experience. I am like Janice. I do believe in a supernatural world or ghosts or whatever you want to call it. I do believe there is like an overlay to this world and there might be beings and things walking around amongst us human beings. I wanted to also share that if you decide to go to the old spaghetti factory in Duarte that if you tell them that you're there, check out the haunted experience or um, that you were wondering if they have any stories themselves, they will provide you a pamphlet. They actually gave us uh, two of these and we were a group of four and they allowed us to take them home. And it's pretty much just like the history of the building and then like, it's got three ghost stories in here. And you can also ask your server, They're they really are fun to play along. You can ask them if they have any experiences themselves. If you like this video and you like the haunted history of things, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the old spaghetti factory in Duarte, I'll leave you a link down below to the restaurant website. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to come along on my adventure, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's medical. I would love to have you. The more friends, the more better. So please subscribe. And until my next adventure, go have yours.